My name's Frank Cochran and I'm here today to show you the FC Hybrid Rail Square. The Rail Square was developed by myself to do six of the major plunge saw rails. Mafel, Festool, Makita, Bosch, Proton and Flex. No setting up on this, it's plug and play. I'm going to show you some of its features. I'm going to show you what it can do and the accuracy of the cuts. Let's have a look at the square, fitting it onto the Festool rail. The hybrid square, it's a very nice snug fit. As you can see, it's a nice press on fit, but we added a couple of wee extra fittings on there, which is just wee offset quarter turns, locks it nice and tight onto the square, onto the rail, and we have got automatic 90 degrees ready for cutting. We'll take the saw and we'll automatically just do a cut, which is going to be off the square. So, so there we definitely have something that's not square, okay, and what we'll do is, running off the leading edge, We'll take the square, we'll connect the square to the square edge that we already know. We'll take the saw again, set it in. And we'll do the first cut. Flip it over. And we shall do second cut. So, second cut's done. First of all, we can even look at it with the square. We can look at it with the square. And as you see, perfect. 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 So we'll move on to the Mafel rail. The Mafel side has got four points of contact, which is given its accuracy. So, so push on. Same again. It's just a wee quarter turn to lock it against the rail which is making it nice and solid. And there we have it. And we'll just do a check on the squareness of that. We have got 610 exactly. And we have got 610, exactly. So, perfect on the Mafel rail. The other good thing about this, as we know, is usually we cut in shelves or cabinets. We take our tape, we mark 300. We take the tape, we mark 300. And then we have to get the rail and then we have to go lining up like so, lining up like so, getting the saw, cutting it. On this case, we only mark it one side, push it up against there, line it up, cut, take it away, mark the next one, bring it along, cut. Easy as that, saves lots of time. So one of the things that's coming out on the first week on October is the mark two of the square. And what we've decided to do with the comments of the boys on the pages who have bought it, wanted to know if I could design a slot for the clamps. So the Mark II model has got the slot in both sides for clamps. 
And another thing the boys wanted to see over a long period, a long run, which was 2.4, even over 2.4, they couldn't believe it was accurate. So what we'll do here is, I'll just show you a wee quick run over. Uh, we have got a square edge here. And just now, I don't know if you can see, but right now we have got this sitting at 450, 455. And we have this end here sitting at 453. So just now, it's off the square. As it being slightly off square, we'll spin it round. So we have a leading edge. And we'll just sit that on there. like to zoom in on that now and we have 435 on the button and here we have got 435 on the button so with no clamp you can put your clamp on the end and clamp it as you know but with no clamp it's still cutting accurate but as I say, the Mark II version will have the clamp to do both sides of the rail. Okay, so that's the Frank Cochran Hybrid Square. Uh, I could show you a lot of other things that the square can do. Uh, a lot of other uses you can put it to to save time, but you guys will know that. Um, the first batch of squares are being sold and most of them have went to the boys in the Mafel top page. A couple over to the USA. Uh, the second batch, which is due in October, the first week in October, which is a Mark II model with the slots for the clamps. They are also sold out, so there's another batch getting made. And if you want to go on the Mafel top page, have a look at the comments, have a look at all the pictures, ask the guys any questions, then you're more than welcome. Myself, you can contact myself at frankcochran at btinternet.com and I'd just like to thank you for watching the video.